Welcome, Christ Central, to our very first family devotional time. Uh, this is our family. My name is Simon. I'm one of the pastors uh, at Christ Central. And we're just going to quickly go through some introductions. This is... What's your name? Elia. Elia. How old are you, Elia? Five. Five? What's your name? Um, his name's Tobias. Tobias? Tobias, do you know how old you are? A P. You're three. Three. Yeah, and this is? Three. No, no, no. Five is. Where am I? Yeah. Where am I? Okay, I'm Rachel. I'm their mom. Five um, just to kind of give you guys a heads up, it's okay if your kids move around, if they're fidgety. Um, okay. No, I'm not kidding. Remember, we're going to be quiet. We're going to behave. It's okay if it's awkward at first. Uh, I just want to encourage you to keep pushing through like we are. You don't have to go through it exactly the way we do. Our most important goal is for you as a family to read the word together and to pray together. Right? That's our main objective here. We're going to go through the New City Catechism. Uh, it is geared towards younger kids, and so families with older kids, you might have to adjust a little bit more um, and modify it a little bit more. All right, we're going to start, and we're going to read the Catechism first. Catechism number one, and we'll read the Bible verse and the takeaway point. Tobias, sit down, please. All right, and we're going to have Rachel read the Catechism and Bible verse and takeaway point. Catechism number one. What is our only hope in life and death? That we are not our own, but belong to God. Psalm 42, 11. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God. For I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. And the takeaway point is uh, because our hope is in God, we can be thankful in all circumstances. All right, well, we're going to show my kids a little picture here. Kids, what? Look at this. You guys should be able to see it on your screen as well. Who is this? Thanos. Thanos was... The enemy and he was going to destroy the earth right who was the earth's only hope against Thanos over here what say it out loud who is that Avengers Avengers that's right who is this and what? Scar you guys know who Scar is mm -hmm. yeah do you know he, Scar was a bad guy too right he was going to try to uh, take over the animal kingdom. Who was the animal kingdom's only hope? Do you know what his Simba. name is? Simba! That's right, that's right. And then this is a frozen city, right? The city was covered in snow. Who was the only, who was the city's only hope? This one. What's, it, what's her name, Elsa. Tobias? Uh, this one. What's her name? Elsa. Elsa, that's right. Do you guys know what only hope means? What does only hope mean? Do you know? know? Hope is trusting in someone or something else to save you. Okay? Look, all of these people, they were in trouble. The people were in trouble. The animal kingdom was in trouble. The city was in trouble. They needed someone to help save them. Okay? And then, okay. Yeah, the Bible tells us that we're in trouble too. And the boom. That because of our sin and disobedience, uh -huh. wait, wait, shh. we need someone to save us. Okay. Who's our only hope? And the Jesus. Jesus? Well, you already know the answer. Huh? Can the Avengers save us? No. Can Simba save us? No. No. Can Elsa yes. save us? Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. She can't save us. She's not real. Okay. But who can save us, G uh, Elia? Jesus, right? Let's read today's catechism again, okay? What is our only hope in life and death that we are not our own but belong to God? God is our only hope, right? Pay attention. He is someone who can save us, and because of this, we can always be thankful, okay? 
I'm going to read Psalm 30, 42, verse 11 again. Why are you cast down on my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, my salvation and my God. The author was sad. Right? He was in trouble. But he could still be thankful because he put his hope in God. He knows that God can do anything. Right? At this time, I want you guys to uh, pause. And there are some questions on the screen that I want you to go over. And we're going to go over it together as a family as well. And then after you're done, um, hit the play button again. And then we'll close in prayer. All right. Welcome back. Um, Hopefully you guys could go around and share what you're thankful for. Eliab was thankful for robots. And Tobias was thankful for rocket ship. Uh, mommy was thankful for our family as well as I was. Um, hopefully you guys had a good discussion. Tobias, sit down. Sit down. Uh, let me close with a word of prayer. Okay, everybody, let's pray together. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being our only hope in life. And may we, Lord, learn how to be thankful to you, for we know that you are in control. Our hope is in you. Help us, Lord, uh, to trust in you more and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, um, there is one more thing. If you guys are ambitious, if you guys have older kids, there is an optional memory verse for you that is displayed Hopefully you guys can do that together as a family. Hope you guys got through this like we did. Um, we'll see you again next time. God bless.